Hello everyone, and welcome to English Teacher's Guide to Everything You Need to Know About Checking Out My History by John Agard. The aim of this video is to give you all the perfect market analysis you need as quickly as possible without wasting your time or trying to sell you something. So, here's the poem. You should already have read this three, four, five times. You should already have your own notes for analysis. Feel free to pause this and add any notes that you already have. Let's go through my analysis, which is further to the ones you see on the page now. So I basically mean the poem looks through the voice and experiences of the poet and our understanding of identity through history. We look at how history is taught and how the conflict between facts and truths, which is sometimes obscured by race or gender. The poem gives examples of powerful black figures from history, often involving conflicts themselves in one way or another, ideally in order to highlight to the reader this idea of an unknown history, that your identity has been somehow masked from you. Let's move on. So, context. John Agard is a British-born Ghanaian in the Caribbean, 1949. He moved across the UK, so he deliberately therefore uses non-standard phonetic spelling to represent his own accent and help create his own identity as well. So there are obviously also various references to historical figures and seemingly irrelevant British cultural aspects to help create that basic meaning we've referred to already. In terms of form, this can be viewed as a dramatic monologue, with one speaker talking to a silent listener and showing their strong feelings on a certain topic. This style helps to create a controversial tone, or a conversational tone rather, is if the speaker is directly interacting with us, the reader, in order to help reinforce the message. This form of poetry allows I got to show off how anger and frustrated he is with the fact that the black history often gets ignored. A lot of words are written phonetically, and this once again as mentioned earlier, highlights that sense of culture and the pride within it. The title itself indicates that the speaker is researching a history which he considers his own, creating a sense of therefore identity. In terms of structure, the repetition of Dem Tell Me suggests a constant barrage of learning by rote without insight. It also highlights that the speaker is being forced to obey. The irregular rhyme scheme and short mix and genre within the stanzas helps again to create a tone of a man speaking out who is angry and frustrated. It may also suggest a lack of education or someone who is purposely going against what is expected to make the point. The stanzas concerning white history, a normal font, are interspersed with stanzas on black history and italics represent separation and rebellion. Italics are used to highlight emphasis, therefore the speaker is emphasising the importance of these historical figures. The working italics are almost song-like with a rhythm that seems to suggest stories passed down in song or to a beat, which can reflect a kind of cultural background in the passing of stories. Finally, language. So the pronoun dem to represent the faceless body general dislike of authority and dialect of speaker. To saunter slave, the short verse and the irregular rhyme creates an almost drum beat. This can reflect the Caribbean traditions we've mentioned already. Shaka the Great Zulu, Columbus, the contrast of famous white ethnic figures with the ethnic minority comparisons, emphasise the one-sided nature of education, which draws that conflict. Carving out the identity is a violent metaphor, expressing the resistance and need to create something which cannot be removed and won't fade. The verb carving or suggests that discovering one's identity is a difficult task. Okay, so thank you very much. Make sure you get all the notes that you need and keep on revising.